How to make a tarpaulin layout in Canva easily. Hey everyone, and welcome. We hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll show you two different ways we can actually go about this. Now, it is actually very simple with Canva because you get to choose the size that you actually want very easily. Uh, but if you're not sure, you can also just find some templates to choose from and work your way from there by replacing stuff and adjusting it to your liking. So the first thing is going to be the step where we find a template and we can just go ahead and adjust it, which is going to be by opening canva.com. And then from here, you can just go in and go to the search box and search for tarpaulin. And as simple as that, you will find a few things here with different sizes that could actually work for you. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to select this one and click on customize this template. And then from here, you basically want to replace all the elements that you don't want um in here so you can just go ahead and remove the text or not remove but you know you can actually change the text like so by double clicking on it and you will be able to replace it like so now this specific template does have a few uh paid uh elements to it so this is why they have this uh watermark in it but you can just go in and find others that don't really have any paid elements to them and you can just go in you know mess with them and replace the text change the background image and so on so you can feel free to adjust it to your liking now this is if you're not sure about the size that you actually want to add uh, for your tarpaulin uh, but if you do know a specific size and you actually want to use it it is also very easy you just want to again just go to canva.com and then from here you can just go and click on create a design from the top left and from here you can find the custom size option now here is what is great about this now let's say you have a request for a tarpaulin design and they asked you to do it in um, different units here so you can just go and go to the units section and if you click on it you will find you can actually enter um, units by inches millimeters or even centimeters so just go in and find whichever um, option that you actually want to choose for example if you want to you know if you know the size for tarpaulins in inches you can just go in and select this one and add the width and height to it. And again, if you want it to be in millimeters, you can do so. And if it's centimeters, you can also do so. So just go in and select the proper size that you actually want to use. I'm just going to go for pixels here. Uh, and we can just do, for example, 1600 by 900. I believe this is going to work. I don't know. I'm not sure here, but, uh, you know, but usually it's going to be something like this. So let's just go and click on create a new design. And obviously the sizes vary, like I said, it's really going to be depending on the type of tarpaulin that you actually want to create. Uh, and maybe you have some requests for a specific size. So just go in and select the proper size that you actually want. Now from here, you can feel free to begin designing. Now you can feel free to just click on upload or hover over it. And from here, you can just click on upload files and you can begin by uploading files from your computer. So you can just go in and add this one as a background. For example, I'm just, you know, messing around here. I'm not really going to be designing anything because I don't really have anything in mind. But you can feel free to add elements as well. They have a lot of options when it comes to elements. Uh, you can really search for anything that you want in here and you will find plenty. Or if you're not still, you're not sure about designing, um, you can again just click on design here and you can just feel free to select one that you like. And then you can just feel free to adjust it. Now, obviously this wouldn't fit for a tarpaulin, but you get the idea. I'm trying to make it um, as close as possible to you know a real life example uh, on what you actually need to do. Just go to design, find the design that you actually like and start adjusting it or even uploading your own background and stuff. So this is all going to be um, really up to you and your design elements and aspects. I'm not really going to be talking about the design much. And once you are done, you can simply just click on share on the top right, click on download and you can download it as a PNG, a JPEG and so on. So just go ahead and get started with designing, uh, add your elements that you are needed and everything from, out, uh, from uploads, elements and so on. And also, if you want to adjust a specific thing, for example, the color, you can uh, you know click on an element change the color from here uh, or you, you can click on a specific element that does have it and click on edit and then from the edit option which should be at the top but these elements don't really have them um, you can actually you know create more stuff like you know changing the contrast and so on so so much more 
So there's a lot to it on what you can actually do. For example, here I can so select this, click on edit, and I can just go for um, effects here. I have this or even click on adjust to adjust the brightness, contrast, and so on. So this is all for this video. Hopefully you found it to be helpful and thanks for watching.